closure in federal court today with a case agents call the biggest gambling ring bust in South Carolina history. News 4's Stephanie Trotter joins us with the latest. Steph? Bob Mosley and his son in law, Michael Caldwell, faced a judge today more than a year after a grand jury indicted them along with their companies. Investigators said they made almost $400 million running a gambling house across the nation. Sky 4 flew over the area's agents seized truckloads full of evidence from their Anderson and Greenville County homes and offices last fall. Investigators say the two men helped set up and support more than 600 gaming internet cafes from coast to coast. Today, in a plea agreement, Bob Mosley pled guilty to a felony, admitting he did run an illegal gambling business. On behalf of his company, he pled guilty to money laundering charges. Meanwhile, Michael Caldwell, who is seen here on the left, pled guilty to misdemeanor charges filed just today of transporting gambling machines out of state for his father-in-law. Caldwell was sentenced to time served, which was one day, the day he was arrested last year. The plea agreement calls for no prison time for Bob Mosley. His formal sentencing will take place in the coming weeks. Both men agreed to forfeit a total $20 million, which is the largest forfeiture in state history. Afterward, when asked about the lack of prison time in the sentencing, the lead agent said, quote, the message could have been stronger, but the $20 million forfeiture should have an impact on anyone in the future who might consider gambling in South Carolina. Carol, back to you. Thank you, Stephanie. Slide is investigating tonight.